when you look at it, what we know is 20% of the people will spend four times the money. That's, that's a rule. It's based on the 80-20 principle originally. Right? That, that's where that first part comes. That's why you want to focus on getting those higher quality clients. That's the first reason why I tell my clients to spend 50 to 80% of their time on those 20% because we already know that their capacity and ability to spend is a lot more. So we all know that customers are not equal. Do we, do we all understand that everybody agrees? Customers are not equal? Well, most places we go, customers are treated equal. So we know that customers are not equal, but we all treat them equal. Right? So you've got to come up with your own system or format not to treat them all equal. Now I'm going to show you a, um, what we call a loyalty ladder. Now this loyalty ladder was specifically originally designed for um, retail, but it's very effective and it can be used in other ways. So I think it's just a good example to use from that point. So when we look at this, we have, we have five rungs on this ladder. If we start at the top, we have what are called the raving fans. Okay? Raving fans, and everybody has them, and they just stumble upon them. They don't know how they got them. You know, they're, they're the ones that always talk about your business. They're referring you. They're sending you emails and ideals on how to improve your business. You're getting them in the night. You're getting tweets. You're getting texts and everything. These are just raving fans. They just, they can't stop talking about their business. They love it. You know, so most people will stumble upon a few of them. The very smart business owners will actually come up with a system to actually cultivate them so that they have raving fans. Now, the next level is you have what we call members, okay? Members are just a really long time loyal clients that have been coming to you for years or doing business for you years. You may have different names for them. Some people might call them, you know, my tribe or my family or my, my group or something or else. The more important thing is not how you identify them, it's how they identify themselves. So it doesn't matter that I say, oh, that person is a member of the Vancouver Entrepreneurs Group. So what? What's important is when someone else says, oh yeah, by the way, I'm a member of the Vancouver Entrepreneurs Group, because they're identifying themselves and saying, I'm a member, I like this group, come join this group. That, that's the shift in difference. You can call them whatever you want. It's how they look at the perspective in their own mind. Now, you know, step number three is, you know, on the left right down line is clients. Um, you know, they're, they're a little bit more lukewarm, right? They say, yeah, you know, I've, I've had a good experience, you know, I'm coming here, it's working, but they're, they're willing to look somewhere else. A Groupon coupon comes, who's the one that jumps over somewhere else? It's, it's your clients. It's not your members, it's not your raving fans. They don't even look at those things. But when you get to these bottom three rungs, especially the last two rungs, they'll jump somewhere else because the reality is they don't have enough loyalty or built in with you from that standpoint, if you think from that way. Then you have customers. You know, if you look at customers, you know, they say, yeah, you know, it's okay, I may be back, I may be not. They maybe, they've maybe come to your location once or twice, they kind of like it, they haven't made up their mind or anything else, and you haven't done anything to try to move them up. And then we know that the beginning prospect on this ladder as was set up is you actually have prospects. So how do you move them up? That's, that's the big question, right? Because you want to come up with a system when you're thinking about, remember we're, we're talking about how do you get in front of the right 20%? Okay, so when you look at this, when you have prospects, okay, prospects you want to track towards you. So you can use social media, you can use websites, you, know, you want to attract them. You do not want to chase your prospects. Don't do it, okay? Just, just realize that's a filtering process there for yourself. Don't chase your prospects. When you have customers, start working with them. Try to build a relationship with them and see if you can move them up to the next level to client. It comes back to that you know, saying we said before, people want to do business with they like, no trust. Not every Retail or every business can always get the respect at level, but you're trying to get to that point, that trust and respect. When they trust and respect you, they don't go anywhere else. So, you know, as you know, Dan and I do, do some work in, in, in the hair industry and everything else. Do you know that the biggest thing that we see at times is if a stylist can build trust and respect with a client, that client will follow that stylist wherever they go. How many people in this room say, look, I only see this one person. I don't care if they move to Hope. I'm going to drive out and see him. How many of those in the room, right? Okay. <laughs> See? So what we got an example there is someone that's built trust and respect with you. You respect and trust them. That the only people can do the hair. So what you want to try doing is start moving up to that level. Right? Now when you get up to members, you know, um, when you get up to the level of members, there's only going to be a certain percentage of them and they're going to become raving fans. And people get frustrated at that level. So you gotta, you got to just filter them. Some are never going to become raving fans. You can try to work on some of the Raving fans are more natural. You can give them a little few incentive to help them out from that standpoint. But there's only so much you can do to help them from that way. So that's the loyalty ladder itself there. That's another filtering process out there to get you in front of the right people. There's a lot of different ways that you can do it.